Hello, you beautiful souls. This is a Halloween tale called, If You Can't Beat them, Join them. After being forced to accept the clarity that had been trailing him around since 36 hours ago, Nathan finally realized that he was stuck and he didn't know how to get out, but he knew someone knew. And the person that he felt could get him out of the situation was Susan, a mysterious individual who just seemed to have good luck follow her everywhere she went. Unbeknownst to Nathan, Susan had a crazy ex named Morty who was very butthurt because Susan had walked away from him. Nathan took a very unhealthy liking to Susan. He wanted to become everything that she was so that he could have stability because he felt that what he was would never be good enough. But everything that she was was more than enough. And if he could just be included in the name that she was associated with, well, maybe he would experience peace for the first time in his life. Well, there was a bit of an issue. Nathan had a lot of self-esteem issues, was insecure, and uh, he did not know how he would get to even attract Susan in the first place. She never paid him attention. So Nathan thought of something. Nathan sought out someone who was considered to be a neighborhood witch She didn't really appear to be a witch, but, you know, he had asked around. And a lot of people had referred him to this witch who could help him with a very potent love spell. Upon meeting this particular witch, he was very entranced by her beauty. But there was something more, but no, no need to worry. She seemed to check every box off on his list of what he looked for in a magic practitioner for a very potent love spell. But not only that, she was very beautiful and alluring beyond anything he'd ever seen in a really long time, aside from Susan. But unbeknownst to him, this very beautiful creature was attractive to him as well. And boy, she set her eyes on him heavy. So she told him, give me a few days. I'm going to make a potion extremely special just for you. Something that will definitely make her want you. So while Nathan was very happy and excited and he went away, very happy, this beautiful temptress, she began to locate the energy of the one that he so desired and she made a potion that would emulate that energy and she drank some herself and so that when he would get the potion and drink some he would become tethered to her and Nathan would never know now meanwhile Susan was in her own little la la world as usual doing what a Susan does Susan was facing a lot but She kept a very cool, calm composure, so no one ever really knew what she was going through. In fact, she had no choice but to be who she was so that her life could change, unbeknownst to other people. Susan should have been dead by now. Susan had developed a a way of finding joy even in the darkest of moments because unbeknownst to others, Susan had been shrouded in darkness since she was a baby. But now Susan could understand why, and she wasn't mad at the past anymore. However, her past was still mad that she was finding peace and happiness. And this past name is Morty. Morty was always full of chaos. He always went above and beyond to disrupt Susan's peace and cause her confusion. And when Susan finally became curious of what truly was going on beyond the uh, 
alluring way that Morty looked at her and made her loins wet with moisture. She discovered that if she stayed with Morty, she would uh, forever be trapped in fear. And Susan was all about love. She hadn't really experienced love before, so she started learning to love herself. And this is when Morty began turning everyone that they knew together against her so that when Susan left, he could still have a hold on her, whether she was there or not. And like clockwork, Morty knew Susan would leave him. He had held onto her so tightly, like a palm that was closed and it began to sweat. And no matter how hard he tried to hold onto Susan, she eventually left. Now, for a while, he was able to uh, psychically attack Susan because Susan was full of everything that Morty had energetically given her. And so Susan walked around confused and an awful lot, not aware of how much power she had within her to actually break these bonds. But like the seasons of time, Susan came into her strength. This is her story now. Susan is seriously just learning to vibe out with herself. And because she's pulling her energy away from so many people, well, she seems to be the hot stuff of town. And this is where Nathan comes in. Nathan is one of those people who just became obsessed with Susan that he was willing to disrespect her free will. Now, as these three days are going by and Nathan is waiting for this beautiful sweet potion made by this arousing hottie, finally the three days comes and he's full of so many emotions, he shows up ready and eager, proud of himself for having waited for three days. And uh, when he enters into this beautiful, 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 beautiful setup that uh, she's new. He's amazed. She's artistic. She's sexy. She's powerful. Wow, I've hit the jackpot. He had no idea what was waiting for him. And as Nathan drank the beautiful potion, he felt a sense of strength and he couldn't quite understand it. He felt extremely comfortable in the sense where he felt as if he was trapped in a bed that he could not get out of. But the bed was very beautiful. You know, everything you would want was on that bed. Money, gold, silver. But when he tried to leave the bed, he actually couldn't leave. Now, as he's blinking in confusion, he looks to the beautiful, mesmerizing witch, and her skin starts to transform into something rough, rugged, nasty things crawling all over the place, a stench so horrid. Nathan realized it wasn't a witch doctor he contacted, it was something else that was able to become anything that you wanted it to be. Now, meanwhile, Susan was just taking the time to reflect. Susan was very reflectual. And as she thought back to what got her to this point, she in that moment decided to completely walk away from everything that didn't serve her. And this included Morty. But she also thanked Morty because if it hadn't been for Morty, she would not have remembered who she was. And she knew that she was going to do everything that she came in this world to do. And nothing would ever cage her in again. She, in that moment, Susan decided to become the bird that would sing. And Susan discovered that if anything ever stood in her way, she would always bypass it each and every time. Meanwhile, Morty was 
still sulking over how it was that Susan had left him. I mean, it's like he had known Susan would leave him, but he didn't actually believe she would do it. And for Susan to be who Susan was now, he knew that it was just a matter of time before everything he did would become exposed. Now back to Nathan. Nathan wakes up not really remembering much and all of a sudden he feels really good about everything. And uh, he decides to go and see if his potion is working. And what does he find? He finds, well, it's not exactly Susan, but it really feels like Susan. So he thinks to himself, maybe Susan, I don't know, but it looks like Susan and it feels like Susan. It must be Susan. And all the worries that Nathan had were instantly gone because everything that he had wanted to do with Susan in that moment became a reality. But this didn't really seem like Susan, but it felt like Susan. So he was just going to go with it, you know? Whenever he was with the uh, Susan, it was great. But when he wasn't with the Susan, he was played with nightmares on end. Meanwhile, Susan was finding her pace in the world. Susan started doing what she loved. She was really good at it. And many people sought Susan for her services. As well as someone who really was highly attracted to Susan. They sought Susan out. But it was very hard to get in contact with Susan. So this particular individual who really felt that the only way he could pin down a Susan was to uh, trap her. So he did thorough research on Susan. He figured he'd come in fast to appear as if he was the dream that hadn't yet come to fruition yet. But there were some things that he didn't know about Susan. And he was about to find out in a way that he would regret getting to know. Now, let's just say Susan had a lot of admirers. Was it just Nathan, Morty? Ah, this individual we just talked about. Susan had another admirer. Someone who felt that Susan knew what was best and with Susan anything would be possible. But the thing is, he didn't, would not let Susan be Susan. So Susan had loved him too. Unbeknownst to many, he was full of sorrow and grief. But he kept a smile on his face. He did this so that if Susan ever saw him, she would never know how he had hurt her. And how she had hurt him. And he hoped and prayed that everything he had done to call her back would work. He kept a great many hope, but there was so much confusion surrounding him, and he knew that if he had Susan, everything he thought he wanted would probably happen, right? Unbeknownst to Nathan, Morty, the other individual who was seeking out Susan, and this other individual we're talking about, Susan had a secret. Susan had accepted this about herself a long time ago. She had ran away from it for a long time. And when she finally accepted it for what it is, she saw the answer to her problem. And Susan realized that she had work to do. So stay tuned for part two of If You Can't Beat Them, Join Them.